Hi there! This is a second video in the series of Scratch Junior videos that I am creating. My first project is here and we can see that in the Scratch Junior projects menu if I press this project I will be taken back to the screen that I was working on in the last video. So in the last video, just a quick recap, we learned that the yellow pieces are what starts the program. So we use the green flag out of the yellow pieces. The blue pieces are the different movement, movements that our character can do. So I chose the directions up, right, left, down, down, turn to the right. And the last step that we went over in the last video was red pieces. So the red pieces were the finish of the program and the finale. So there's two different red pieces that we could choose from. The finish piece or the repeat piece. So this piece will repeat the program over and over again. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to save my program by pressing the house and you can see the program is saved and it's called project one. Today we are going to go and we're going to try something a little bit different. So we're going to just press the house, press the plus button, and I'm taken to a new project. So today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to start with a background, but then we're going to add a second character that's not a cat. So something that is a little bit different. So I'm going to show you how to code both characters. So the first step is we need to pick the background. So the background, we have to go to the top and press the background button. And I'm going to choose something a little bit different today. I'm going to choose the basketball court. So I'm going to just press the check mark. So we can see that we have one character. And to move this character on the screen to a different starting position, all we do is touch the character and slide it to the left. Okay, so we can see that my character is on the left, and I recommend that you do the same thing. The next step we're going to do is we're going to add a second character to our scene. So what we're going to do is we're going to press the plus button on the left hand side of the iPad. And we're going to pick a different character. So we can see that the character that I made last time in the last video, the blue cat, is still there. But I'm going to choose something that's a little bit different. I'm going to choose the butterfly. Once you've chosen your character, it will show up with the orange box around it. Then all you have to do to select it is press the check mark. Okay, so we can move our butterfly a little bit higher on the screen. So they're starting at two different locations. So, so far I have cat and butterfly. So I want to rename these two characters to two of my friends' names. So the first one is going to be Ant, and the second one is going to be Ryan. Okay, so I have my two characters. One is named Ant, and one is named Ryan. And they're both on the scene of the gym. So here's the tricky part. If I click on Ant and I put a green flag from our yellow pieces down beside the cat, this won't tell the butterfly Ryan to start the program. We have to select the butterfly and we can see down here that it's now changed to the butterfly. So that's telling us we're coding the butterfly. So if I press the cat, we can see that it's changed to the cat and this is the programming for the cat. So we have to make sure that we do the programming for both characters if we have two characters. You can have more than two characters but I suggest that you start with just two characters. So the next step we're going to do is we're going to add some movements to these characters. So for my cat I'm going to go to the right, to the right, up, down, to the left, and up. Okay, so I have some movements that my cat ant is going to complete. So let me just press the green flag and test it. 
Okay, so we can see that only the cat moved and it did not affect the butterfly because we haven't put any code in the butterfly section yet. So before we get to the butterfly, we're going to go to the red section and make sure we complete our code. So I'm just going to put a complete piece at the end of my puzzle pieces. Now for the butterfly, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to start with our beginning flag, our green flag that's in the yellow pieces section. Then, instead of going to the blue, we're going to go to the purple section. So the purple section is kind of interesting. This is where we find speech bubbles, where we can create comic strips. We find different sized pieces. So these sized pieces here will either grow your character, shrink your character, or bring it to a middle stage. And the last two pieces here I find very interesting. This one makes it invisible, and this one will bring the character back from being invisible. So what we're going to try today is we're going to try the enlarge function. So we're going to enlarge, enlarge, then shrink. After that, we're going to want the butterfly to disappear, shrink again, then come back. At the end of the butterfly's code, we're going to try a speech bubble. So a speech bubble is right here, and we're just going to slide it to the end. So before we try this code, we always have to make sure that we end it. So we're going to come here, pick a complete piece to end the code, the red piece. Then we're going to press the green flag to try it. So we can see the butterfly disappeared, came back, and said, hi. And that's how you use the text feature in Scratch Jr. So now you have two characters who are trying to interact with each other. So what you could do now is you could actually go back to your first character and edit it. You could add something that the cat will say back to the butterfly. So I'm going to go to the purple pieces, select a speech bubble, and to edit what the speech bubble says, you're going to click on the speech bubble and you can type whatever you want in here. So my butterfly's name is Ryan, so I'm going to say, hi, Ryan, and they're going to interact. Okay, so now I'm going to just press the green flag and test what I've done. Okay, so we can see that the cat said hello to the butterfly, and the butterfly said hello to the cat. So I want you to try and experiment with these two characters and try to have a conversation between the two characters, um, talking back and forth at least three times. Okay, and then once you're done doing that, you're going to press the house to save your program. Thanks for watching.